Okay, so here's the question for everybody. Right now, we're looking at a CAN data line on a car that has nothing at all wrong with it. So, what's wrong? If everything here communicates and communication works fine, what are we looking at that's wrong? Well, again, I'm going back to it because I think this is the perfect example and the lighting is much better, but I figured I'd show you guys. Again, this is a graphing meter right now, and this is a CAN data line. That is the best resolution that we could possibly get out of this. We're on a one second scale. There is nothing shorter than that. All right, if I back out of that, it doesn't make a difference which one is displayed. There's no such thing as a trigger, peak detect, any of that stuff there. Not gonna help us. We could try it though, peak detect on two. Now it's even noisier and looking terrible. Take that off and this is what we end up with. So this is what a graphing meter will show you not what we want. If we go back out, which I will get out of there, and just to go back in, and I'm using this simply because it's uh, an old version 8.4 Vantage Pro, doesn't make a difference, a scope is a scope. This is the CAN data line on lab scope. I can move it up to 200, and as you can see, there's nothing at all wrong with that signal. I'll pause it on the screen if you like. And there you are. Perfect mirror image. Everything there looks perfect. But again, this is where it can mislead you. If you're just using a graphing multimeter, you have to think about it. You know, it's just not fast enough to actually read what a scope reads. And this is what I care about. I care about detail. Um, you know, if we had something in there, rounded edges, anything at all like that, we're not going to see it any other way. On two channel lab scope, I mean, it's it's decent. I would still say to get a four channel, but I need as much detail as I can possibly get. So again, just another video just to show you what I was talking about. Have a good one.